Hey, dream chasers and wealth seekers. Are you ready to tap into the secrets of success? Because today I want to dive into the timeless classic, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So join me as we explore the riches of wisdom buried within these pages. So first, I want to talk a little bit about what the buzz is about with Think and Grow Rich, because a lot of people are promoting this book. A lot of people are talking about it, like, for instance, Bob Proctor. That's also who got me onto this book. And that is because this book is more than a guide to wealth. It is a blueprint for transforming your thoughts into success. But Napoleon Hill's principles have shaped the lives of countless individuals by teaching them to harness the power of their own minds. So let's dive deep into the heart of this extraordinary work. Napoleon Hill unveils the power of our thoughts and our beliefs, showing how they can shape our reality. He basically presents a roadmap for achieving success that is rooted in faith, desire and persistence. So I want to share with you a couple of the key takeaways that I got after reading this book, which are nothing short of life altering. The first takeaway I want to share with you is the power of a burning desire. And because Think and Grow Rich emphasizes the importance of having a burning desire, a relentless passion for your goals. And Napoleon Hill teaches us that intense desire can overcome all obstacles. And that is absolutely true. As long as you have the desire to reach your goals, you will always get back up when life knocks you down. And you will always look for a different path, a different way, another solution a new thing you can try. So intense desire really can overcome all obstacles. The second key takeaway is the subconscious mind. Uh, Napoleon Hill dives into the power of the subconscious mind and he explains how our thoughts and our beliefs influences our actions and our outcomes. And he shows us how to program our minds for success. And that's basically also what Bob Proctor says. We really need to be mindful of our thoughts. We need to pay attention to the thoughts that we are thinking because our thoughts lead to our emotions, how we feel about certain things, and also what we believe to be true or not true about certain things. And that combined um, influences what we do, our actions, and what we do and how we do that and with what emotions and what mindset said is directly um, relatable to our outcomes, the things that we get into our lives. So this is a principle that you really need to understand in order to program your mind for success. The third key takeaway is mastering self-discipline. And self-discipline is a cornerstone of Hill's philosophy. He teaches us to control our thoughts and our actions, and that enables us to stay focused on our goals. So if you start becoming mindful of your thoughts, and whenever you feel um, or become aware that you have a thought that is not in your best interest, that is not serving you, you have at any moment in time the choice to choose a different thought. And with a different thought, a better thought, come better feelings and better actions and thus better results. So we really need to master our thoughts, which is mastering self-discipline. The fourth key takeaway is the mastermind principle. Uh, Hill champions the concept of a mastermind, a collective force of like-minded individuals working together to achieve success. He shows the power of collaboration and networking. And this is really the key principle behind my top level mastermind that I'm running with like-minded business owners where we are really lifting each other up, promoting each other and helping each other reach the next step in our business. But it's also the principle behind my community solutions uh, on, a, on a different level, but it's still like-minded people working together to learn and grow and achieve their success together. It's a very powerful concept. 
The last key takeaway that I want to be talking about is persistence and resilience. And the book highlights the importance of persistence in the face of setbacks. And Napoleon Hill's examples of individuals who faced adversity and triumphed inspire us to persevere. Because there's a story in there that is about a, a gold digger and he had uh, this huge plot of land and he was digging for gold. He was mining for gold and he had been at it for a very long time. And sometimes he would find really small bits, but not the big jackpot, not the mother load. And eventually his money was drained and he thought, well, I'm not going to find anything here. So he sold the plot of land and then the new owner found the mother load it found the really big vein of gold and it was only a feet away from where the previous owner had been digging last so the story the moral of that is don't give up because you could be this close to achieving whatever it is that you want to be achieving without even being aware of it and if you give up you will never reach it so triumph in the face of adversity get back up and don't let yourself be distracted from your end game your end goal that is in short what this is about and hill's writing style is not just informative it's a call to action he combines anecdotes with personal stories but also practical exercises to make his principles both relatable but also actionable so you can really take action when you're reading this book which will really help you get to where you want to be personally Think and Grow Rich resonated with me on a deep level because it reminded me that our thoughts and our beliefs are the keys to our destiny Hill's principles can transform not only your financial life, but also your personal life. So would I recommend Think and Grow Rich to you? Yes, I absolutely would. Because for me, it was a life-changing masterpiece that has guided generations towards success. Like Bob Proctor, he talks about this book often and he shares that his copy is so worn out that it falls apart, but he refuses to replace it with a new copy. And I want you to emerge yourself in this book and discover how to harness the power of your thoughts to achieve your dreams. So in conclusion, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill is more than just a book. It really is a pathway to success. It is an invitation to unlock the riches of your mind and turn your dreams into reality. So get your copy. The link is in the description below this video. And let's embark on a journey towards prosperity and achievement. And if you want to read this book with a group of like-minded people and talk about the principles in it and how to apply it to your life specifically, then maybe consider becoming a member of my Solutions community. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next book review. Have a great day.